On this channel, we talk about extremes. On one end, 75% of engineers don't work in engineering, and on the other end, you have the shot of becoming a millionaire. What's it gonna be? Find out next. What's up everyone, it's Oliver. Today we're gonna be talking about this side of things. More specifically, if you do get an engineering degree, what are your chances at scoring it rich? So when people are considering going to a four-year college or university, one of the considerations they make is what's my salary and financial stability going to be like once I graduate? Money can do a lot of good things with people, and if you're one of the lucky few to get a job in engineering, you could be making up to $100,000 or more within 10 years, or in your first year if you work in Silicon Valley. A lot of people go to college with the hope that it'll give them a better life or boost them to another class of society. Just like liking this video would boost me to another class of the YouTube algorithm. But for real, money is a big consideration. Especially when college has become as expensive as it is, it's really good to make sure that what you're doing is going to be worth it. Do I think the only thing you should consider is money when choosing a degree? No. Was it one of the biggest things I considered when I chose my degree? Possibly. I cannot confirm nor deny these claims. Alright, enough rambling, but I do think finances are important at every stage of your life. Let's start off with the absolute absurdity that is the richest people in the world. Now, most of us watching will probably never make it to billionaire status, but I also don't even know what you would do with a billion dollars. You literally couldn't spend that amount of money in a lifetime. So what percentage of the Forbes top 100 billionaires are engineers? Well, according to Crimson Education, a website I've never heard of, it's 22%. 22% of the top 100 billionaires are engineers as of 2017. And the top 100 don't really change that often, so I'm willing to bet that these numbers are fairly similar to what they are today. So according to that statistic, if your ultimate life goal is to become a billionaire, although I'm not sure how much of becoming a billionaire is hard work and how much is luck, but if that is your goal, then choosing an engineering degree does seem to work. Okay, so billionaires aren't really that related for most of us, so let's take it down a notch and talk about millionaires. I'm sure that we can all agree that making a million dollars seems to be a little bit easier than making a billion dollars, although it's probably still going to be pretty difficult. After doing a lot of digging in different websites and articles, I found this one company called Spears, who did research with a company called Wealth Insight, who found the following results. 10.7% of high net worth individuals, or millionaires, have engineering degrees. This ranked second to people with MBAs at 12.1%. But an MBA is a master's degree, so if we just count undergraduate degrees, then engineering is the best undergraduate degree to get if you want to become a millionaire. This article also noted that most engineering millionaires are not working as engineers, but are instead entrepreneurs. And this actually lines up with a statistic from the book The Millionaire Next Door, which stated that two-thirds of millionaires are self-employed or run a business. All the research and findings I discovered have shown that engineering plus entrepreneurship is a really great combo. But you also have to realize that 90% of entrepreneurs fail, and some people would just prefer to have job security and work for somebody else. It's also important to note that oftentimes the people who do become millionaires are really planning far into the future. And they try to make good financial decisions from day one. They don't take on any debt unless it's for running a business or purchasing a house. They stay away from things like credit card interest payments or student loans. And they also spend a lot of their time planning out what they need to do to be financially secure in the future. And lastly, they start to invest their money really early. One of the most powerful forces in finances is compound interest. So the earlier that you start, the longer your money has to compound and grow. Another important thing to note is that getting an engineering degree, or any other degree for that matter, will not make you a millionaire overnight. On average, it takes people decades to become millionaires, not a few years. Time and patience are two of the biggest virtues that people who become millionaires have been able to accomplish. They planned out their futures, they tracked their finances, and they started early, and they kept doing this for years and years and years. According to The Millionaire Next Door, the average profile of an American millionaire is a 57-year-old male who's married with three children. 57 years old! So if you manage to save and invest a million dollars before 57 years old, you're doing much better than the average. But this book is reaching 25 years old now, so that number has probably reduced a bit because of inflation. But there really is no rush to become a millionaire. You have lots of time and opportunity to do so within your life. The final topic I wanted to talk about was this myth of the young entrepreneur. Sure, you have people like Mark Zuckerberg who become billionaires at an extremely young age, but according to Bloomberg, the average age of a successful entrepreneur is 45. 
The reason that I'm making all of these points is to try and encourage young people to enjoy the journey and not worry so much about the future or the destination of becoming a millionaire. I'll be honest with you, I've spent a lot of the last three years of my life just trying to rush through it. I wanted to finish my engineering degree a semester early, I worked myself to the ground, I tried to start two businesses which then failed. So if you're a stubborn person like I am, it's good to realize that it can be helpful to work for somebody else for a while and you have lots of time to save and invest your money. And it's also good to realize that it's okay if you just want to work a 9 to 5 for the next 10 years of your life and just collect your paycheck. There's no right path to having a career or becoming a millionaire and everybody's path is going to be different. So my final verdict, do I think you should do engineering just to become a millionaire? And my answer is no, I don't. Engineering can be extremely difficult, challenging, and competitive, and if you're not up to the challenge, you probably won't do very well. But if you're willing to be smart in the way that you handle your coursework, and you realize that you have to do a lot more than just sit in the classroom in order to get a job at the end, you'll do great. If you are passionate about engineering, or you just like the idea of being an engineer, then I say go for it. But if you're just doing it for the money, I can almost guarantee you, you will be miserable. That about wraps up this video. Let me know what you think about becoming a millionaire in engineering in the comments down below. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more from me. Also, follow me on Instagram at OliverFoot. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day. See you next time. Whoosh.